So, moment of truth. Hit this confirm button. See what what it says. <laughs> there it is. Uh, What's up, Power Times family? You know, throughout my life as a powwow dancer, I had the privilege of traveling many different places throughout the world. You know, I've been all over North America, um, overseas, been to Tokyo, Japan, London, England, Paris, France. And throughout those times, when you're traveling as an artist, you, you spend a lot of time in hotel rooms. And lately, I've been in Airbnbs. I'm in an Airbnb right now as we speak. But Recently, I got to experience the most expensive hotels that I've ever had the opportunity of, of sleeping in. <laughs> and I wanted to document uh, this experience with you because, you know, prior to this, um, the most I've ever spent on a room was like $800 for a night. And this particular room was right over $4,000 uh, for one night stay. And so I thought it'd be a, a cool experience to, to share this experience with you guys, let you know, you know, this is what this room entailed. Was it worth it? You know, and so this is a, a review on the Fairmont uh, Hotel in Banff, so Banff Springs Hotel my daughter's birthday and so we're gonna figure out getting this place right here and it's a, a castle look at that it looks really cool the sun alongside of a mountain and, um, you don't want to make her feel special you know for the day and so it's just time to make the payment and father say how much do you love your daughters all right let's see this so moment a truth hit this confirm button see what what it says <laughs> there it is so i actually had to go back because oh my baby's crying check in tomorrow four and i want to do a full video for you guys so let's let's figure out uh you know was it worth it so i think every dad every father um wants to treat their daughter like a princess and for me, um, I grew up on the res. You know, I grew up on northern Saskatchewan on a small reservation. Um, at the time, I think there was only like 1,200 members in our, our First Nation. And we got a lot of dirt roads. And I, I don't come from money. I don't, I, you know, there's a lot of poverty that I experienced growing up. Um, you know, no food in the fridge, trying to turn on the lights and the lights don't turn on. Um, you know, my dad leaving when I was a young age four years old and you know never heard from him ever since and my dad leaving me uh, um, made me have a goal you know that I just knew one day I was going to be a dad I knew one day I was going to be a father and I just wanted to make sure once I got there and I, I, I stepped into the role as a father that I was going to do everything that I never had growing up and these are just one of those things. I wanted to make sure my only daughter on her eighth birthday felt like a princess. And I thought, you know, why not start this off with a bouquet of roses? <laughs> so the drive was really nice uh you know we seen a a, a a herd of elk you know and I'm, I'm a hunter you know when you see elk like that you get excited but it was in the town of canmore and the cool thing about banff is millions of people travel to this area you know they travel from overseas and they spend thousands and thousands of dollars just to come and see the mountains and it's a big tourist attraction 
to go to Banff. And the cool part is, you know, it's in my backyard. We, we live, um, you know, around three hours away from Banff. And so any day I could just drive there and enjoy the mountains and be a tourist, you know, where, you know, people, it's their dream to come this, this way and to see and witness the mountains and stay in this area. And so it's really cool that we pulled up uh, to a place that's literally in our backyard. And, you know, I don't know why we don't go here more often, but we finally made the trip as a family to go to Banff and we pull up to this like big castle and it's the, the Banff Fairmont Springs, the hotel. And what a, what a sight to behold, to be surrounded by the beautiful, you know, the, the trees and the mountains, your, your view is just amazing. And the cool thing is, the cool thing is we didn't have to check into our room. We had uh, Don waiting for us at the, the front entrance and he didn't even let us go to the check-in area. He guided us uh, straight to our hotel uh, room, which was the Terrace Suites. And I, I wrote on the notes when I, when I paid for this uh, room, it said, is there any special instructions? I said, we're celebrating my daughter's eighth birthday and we want her to feel like a princess. That's literally all we said. And they had the room ready for us as we went there. Uh, her room was available with a, a teddy bear and a handwritten note signed by all their staff that was working that day. And what an amazing way to welcome my daughter to this hotel room. And everyone signed it. Signed the bill or what? And it says your, your name on it. <laughs> That's so sweet. Does that look like a princess or what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Doc. You want to go? Right, let's go over here. Yeah, let's go take a look at the rest of the stuff. Oh. And I'll wash you. Princess Batana, we're so excited to have you staying at our castle and like you to be very what? Mommy. We have Mommy, we have Daddy. going to the castle. We're gonna show this one real quick. Your birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. So when we, we got here, they, they gave us a tour, our Don gave us a tour of the hotel room. It was a, a two bedroom with a pull out couch and its own little seating area and this little nook that looked, that had windows all around so you could see the beautiful views of, of the mountains. And as we walked in, uh, my, my daughter was so happy to see her gifts there and personalized letters to her name and a charcuterie board. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but you know, with the cheese and meat spreads and the crackers and they had some apple cider, um, apple cider sparkling <laughs> sparkling apple cider for us to pour in these wine glasses and cheers happy birthday so <laughs> and as we walked outside there's this beautiful fireplace uh, that we were able to hang out with and enjoy as a family and a nice fireplace inside the whole room was very very beautiful but what made it really cool was how we were being treated. You know, as we pulled up, the valet was like, oh yeah, you could use valet. It's like $74 a, a day, blah, blah, blah. You know, telling me like, how, how am I gonna pay for it? 
And then they asked me what room I was in. I said, yeah, I'm in room uh, 1054. And they're like, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. You know, I didn't know you were in room 20, 10, 1054. We'll just take care of you. Here's your keys and we'll get our bell service. As soon as we kept dropping, we're in 1054. All of a sudden, they, they, it was almost like they're like, okay, these are important people. Let's make sure we take care of them. And that's exactly how it was. They gave me a cell, a, a text, a, um, a cell phone number to text anytime we needed anything. If we needed any more drinks, the fridge was always full with drinks. Uh, if we needed any more cheese and crackers, if we needed anything cleaned up, if we needed them to come make our bed or vacuum this or do this, or whatever it was to come light the fireplace again outside. They just took care of us in a way that was really cool and really amazing. you know what, what our plans were for the evening and prior to getting there I said I oh, will probably you know go to the room uh, check it out and then go for supper well they went it out they went out of their way basically to to find the nicest restaurant that was available that could seat you know more than 10 people and they recommended this awesome Italian place called Lupo's and so there was a uh, a van waiting outside, and they called it her chariot. The sofa had a box for the lights. Your chariot right here? <laughs> and they treated her like a princess, making sure that the ride was there for her as she walked out. And they drove us to the front door of Lupo's and escorted us to our, our amazing uh, area that we were gonna dine at. And the food was amazing. Uh, we had the steaks, the kids had all kinds of pastas, there's pizzas, the drinks were amazing, the service was so awesome. It was quite an experience, uh, to say the least. And after we were done eating, uh, you know, we came outside, we maybe waited about one or two minutes before they rolled up and a, a nice SUV picked up my girls and our family and drove us back to the hotel room. And it was really cool because all of my family met up there. They just happened to be visiting in Canmore for the vacation for themselves. And so we were all in the area, which was really cool. And so my daughter had all her cousins and relatives there to sing happy birthday and we sang it in english and we sang it in the cree version happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday happy birthday 
Hold on, sister. Wait, 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 wait. an awesome time then you know you did the regular birthday things like opening presents cousins laughing a little bit of arguing and fighting amongst the kids but uh, it was such a great time at nighttime we enjoyed uh, the outdoor fireplace and it was such a cool place to laugh and to talk and tell stories amongst each other. It was such an amazing uh, experience to have that all to yourself uh, with this amazing room. After that, you know, we had an amazing sleep. The beds were awesome. Uh, we got woken up to this, an amazing breakfast platter that rolled into our room and set it up perfectly. And we had all kinds of fruits, uh, smoothies, orange juice, apple juices, you know, eggs, bacon, sausages, everything that you would want in a, an amazing breakfast. And I usually fast during the day. You know, I don't usually eat breakfast or lunch. You know, I'll eat about three, four o'clock um, my first meal, but I wanted to experience this. And we ended up eating uh, an amazing breakfast with my daughter and she really enjoyed it. In the morning, we wanted to experience uh, the spa. So they had a, a private spa for, for, usually it was for members only, but because we got this room, we got treated like VIP again. You know, I went up to the spa service and said, hey, we'd like to go for the spa. And they're like, okay, well, are you a member? And this is the cost if you wanted to, if you were a non-member, then they asked me what room I was in. I was like, I'm in 1054. And they're like, oh, sorry about that. You know, let's 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 get you guys settled. Here's a key for your locker room. Let us let's give you a tour. And they just changed their tone. You know, every single time we said we're in 1054, they kind of were like, oh man, I'm I'm sorry about that. Let me let, let me get your stuff. Let me let me follow me. Let me take care of you. And the spa was amazing. It had uh, three levels of hot tubs that were filled with minerals. Uh, there was a hot, hot level, then a medium level, then a cold level. And I went in every three of them, every single one of them. And then the big pool in the middle was full of uh, minerals and salt that was there to, you know, help you heal. And it felt so cool to be in there. There were showers, there's steam room, there's a sauna, and they even had outdoor heated pools and really got to enjoy all of it. And then after that, you know, took the kids to the swimming pool. Uh, there's another separate swimming pool for the kids and they had an absolute blast there. <laughs> the hotel was full with tons and tons of things to do. There's a bowling alley, there's a mezzanine, there's restaurants, there's all kinds of stuff in this beautiful hotel. And when you walk in, you know, it, it looks amazing. It's all full with, you know, rock architecture. The woodwork was amazing. And as soon as you come in, you feel like you're, you're royalty.
refill this. Amazing. $4,300 for this room, was it worth it? Um, for me, just seeing the look on my daughter's face and the experience she had with her cousins and her family made it all worth it. And would I do it again? Um, not anytime soon, but when there's a next amazing event that um, I want to celebrate, you know, for all the hard work that we do, you know, it's one thing that I've always been forgetting to do is to celebrate our wins. And, you know, I, I came from a lot of poverty, a lot of struggle, and to do things like this now for my children is something that's worth more than any amount of dollar figure that is asked upon. So try it out. The Fairmont uh, Banff Springs Hotel for yourself. I have a link below if you want to check it out for yourself. Amazing experience as an indigenous father trying to do his best for his kids. Um, I'm very happy we got to experience this all. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I plan to do more of our journey with Powell Times with you guys. And the things that we're rolling out in the future is coming up is really cool. We're up to our fourth annual Powell in October and we wanna invite everybody, but we got some amazing cool events coming your way. Talk soon. <clears throat> yeah, it was really cool to be a part of this uh, experience in this castle in Banff. Um, you know, I grew up on the res, so not used to experiences like this. Get treated like royalty. So here's my family. Are you here? We're ready. I'm oh, Charlie, you're recording. Oh, you're recording. <laughs> the ballet brought our vehicle up. We're almost ready to, to depart. But it was an amazing time with uh, to celebrate the life of my only daughter, Batsana. She's a princess. Is this a video? Yeah. See ya. See ya. <laughs> my man, uh, Nico. And so we're ready to, to get going and say goodbye to this beautiful place.